This tutorial is going to show you how to use your Mendeley citations with Microsoft Word. So we'll be using the Mendeley Microsoft Word plugin to insert in-text citations as well as insert a bibliography. So once you download your Mendeley desktop, if you go into Microsoft Word, the Mendeley plugin should automatically uh, be put into your Microsoft Word. So if you go into References, you can see these Mendeley features here. Um, you can see the Mendeley logo, and, the, and it says Mendeley Cytomatic. So you know that these are the Mendeley um, plugin features. If for some reason uh, you have downloaded your Mendeley desktop and then you go into Word and you don't see these features, you can go into um, a browser and go to mendeley.com, click on download, and then scroll down and you'll see this uh, citation plugin information and you can get the plugin that way. So if I'm in my Word document, let's say that this is the document that I need to put in-text citations in. So I'm going to place my cursor wherever I want the in-text citation to be. And I'll click Insert Citation. This box is going to come up, and if I know the author or title that I'm wanting to cite, I can go ahead and type that in. And I'll click OK. And you can see it automatically formatted my citation for me and it put it exactly where I wanted it to be. I can also cite more than one article at the same time with this method. Just by clicking on them and then searching again before I click OK. So say these are the two citations I need. I'll click OK, and you can see they're automatically formatted. And again, they're where I wanted them to be. I'll show you how to do this again. If for some reason um, I don't know the author or the title that I want to cite, that's fine. I can just click Go to Mendeley, and it's going to bring up your Mendeley desktop and you can click the citations that you would like. So you would just click on them and then click these quotation marks where it says cite and it's automatically cited it for me. Using this method, I also can put in two citations at the same time. So again, I'm gonna click insert citation, go to Mendeley. And if I wanted more than one citation, I can just click on the ones I want and then hold down while holding down the control key on my keyboard. And clicking cite. You can see all of those citations are cited for me. Once I'm finished with my in-text citations, uh, I'm ready to go ahead and insert my bibliography. So again, wherever your cursor is, that's where the bibliography is going to go. So I'll, in my References tab, I'll click Insert Bibliography. And you can see my bibliography has been inserted and it's in the correct format. If I, um, you know, I've submitted this paper in, to a journal, um, but now I want to submit it to another journal that requires a different citation style, um, I can go ahead and switch the citation style. So right now it's in APA, but if I go up here to style and click the drop down, I can change it to any of these citation styles or search for more styles. So let's say I want to put it in um, AMA. It automatically changes that format for me. So I'm going to change it back. If I've completed my citations and I'm looking at them and I decide there's an error in one of them, I need to do some formatting. Um, you might be tempted to actually just click on these and format the citation here in the Word document. I would strongly suge uh, suggest not doing that because as you can see when I click on this, it highlighted it in gray. Um, so you can tell that 
this isn't just normal text here. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of code behind the scenes working to create this citation. So if I were to edit it in any way, um, it would mess up that code and kind of scramble my citations and they wouldn't be in the correct format anymore. Um, and I'd get some error messages here. So if you have any editing to do on your citations, I would recommend going into the Mendeley desktop finding the citation that you wanted to edit. Um, find it. Okay. So let's say I wanted, um, I realized that this uh, ad, last name of Adam needed an E at the end of it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click on the citation here, and then over in the details section, I'll actually click on that name, do my editing here, and you can see then it's also changed in the citation here as well. Back in my Word document, I'm going to click refresh in those Mendeley features, and you can see the in-text citation has changed uh, with the spelling that I wanted, and it's also changed my bibliography. This tutorial has been an overview of how to use the Mendeley Citation plugin with Microsoft Word to insert in-text citations and a bibliography. If you have any other questions, you can always look at the Mendeley website, mendeley.com, or you can contact us on our website, hshsl.umaryland.edu.